Augusta Public Library's virtual story time. I'm April, and today we'll be reading A Fox Found a Box by Jed Adamson. Fox was searching. Somewhere under the snow there was food, and to find it, he had to dive in. Again, and again, and then ouch! Ooh, that looks like it hurt, doesn't it, Bubby? Look at that. This didn't look like food, but what was it? Hmm. Do we know what this is? Hmm. We should keep reading. Nobody seemed to know. I think it's a box, said Owl. There was a stick on top that moved. There were round things on it that looked interesting. What if I just click? Fox turned the knob. The box is singing, chirped the birds. The animals began to swish their tails, flap their wings, and move their feet. It felt nice. Every day, they would listen to the box. Sometimes the music made them feel dreamy. Sometimes it made them feel sad. Aww. And sometimes it made them want to rock out. Look at all that. And every night, the box's music filled the forest. Until one morning, the box stopped singing. The animals poked it. Fox tried burying it and digging it up. He thought that maybe the box was too cold. Fox tried warming it up. Think this is gonna work? Hmm, let's see. But nothing would make the box sing again. Then something happened. Fox heard a sound. It went drip, drop, drip, drop. His ears twitched, his tail swished. One paw tapped, then the other. Fox's whole body moved to the drip, drop beat. Now the other animals heard the forest too. The whoosh, whoosh of the wind, the chitter chatter of geese, the crunch, crunch of snow underfoot, and the gurgle, gurgle of the river. They started to notice everything. The smell of the pine trees, the falling snow, the beautiful view. And every night, the animals would nestle down, close their eyes, and let the forest sing them to sleep. The end. Thank you for joining me today at Shasta Public Library's virtual story time. Remember, you can check out Fox Found a Box and other great books at the local library. Bye!